this is the uh, unit you come up to. Opens, it's got magnets to keep that door closed. There's your air filter, delayed, dated July. <laughs> this is October, so three months. Here's the other thing that sucks on these. So this panel goes on with four screws, quarter inch threads. But then when you hang the next panel on, and those long screws go in here, it will pull and bend this. Plus it doesn't like to stay in, so the installer's pushing these in and been using little zip screws. Climate Master, two piece bastards. <laughs> First they installed a section with the blower, what, uh, condensate water loop. There's a fresh air it looks like down there. And it's open almost all the way. And then you gotta pull this section out. After you pull the outer section out, and then to get to the compressor, you, so you don't get to the compressor from here, it's just a circuit board, right? Mm -hmm. So the, to get to the compressor to check any pressures, you got to pull this unit, pull the back cover off, which usually sometimes... screwed on three sides. So most of the time you're saying you're having to turn off the water, disconnect the water lines, yeah, to get pull out off. the unit, get to the compressor compartment, yep. put your gauges on, yep. put the unit back together with yep. the water lines, yep. then you can check the pressure. you can check the pressure. So I'd rather just see a freaking packaged... Water source heat pump shoved in the freaking opening in a closet than yeah. this shit. This, this this is a stupid design. And it is kind of faster, which is data. Real popular units. Damn. And then your uh, condensate. Oh, the switch is installed backwards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Up, Up is, is on, off. down is on. Yeah, so, uh, dang, where was that condensate line again? I know I've There's seen one. it. Right here. Oh, that? No, the, that's no condensate water. Cover. Yeah. We have to pull the cover. You to guys, see that. this is another cover that comes off. Yeah, that's what we're. So let's pull that cover off. Yep. Okay, hold on to that so it doesn't fall on my head. Oh, you gotta take these two. Screws this is out. the third layer that we have to pull off just yeah. to get to the to, to, to yeah. this part of the unit. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, this was actually even kind of short. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be in that hole. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And it ain't. This is what I'm talking about. So the condensate pan is right here. Yep. And then it has a flex tube that just hangs here. Uh -huh. It's supposed to be ran down into that. Which, because this sits back, watch for Yep, me. yep. That and if somebody back. pulls this unit out too far, it pinches that line and blocks it off. Right. So if you put too, you run the screws too hard on that outer cover, it'll pull this unit out and, I'll, and also pull your condensate hose out on you if you yeah. don't pay attention. And this hose is too short, you can't pull it down no more. Yep, cover right there just gets you to the uh, circuit board and yep. contactor. Yeah, yeah. But doesn't get you to the compressor or no. the pressure ports. They should have put the pressure ports right there. They should have, they should have extended them, yep. Yeah, Climate Master, you better be listening. In fact, just stop making these piece of shits. <laughs> they put circuit boards in there. Yep, there's the circuit board. Just like the other Comet Masters, except for it's chill. And then there's transformer, contactor, fan relay. Another relay for some reason. Maybe it's... There's two more screws. But uh, yeah, no pressure ports, man. They should have put the pressure ports no somewhere out here on extensions. At least Rain did that. Remakes one extensions. Oh yeah, on their oh. units. Oh yeah, yeah. They've always mean, done that. I know. Yeah, it's always they, been on they the outside. Followed dumbass Reem. I don't know. I wouldn't say Reem's a dumbass. Reem is a dumbass. <laughs> They're dumbass because some of them are sucky to work on, but they won't quit running. Now. I know. That's why we hate them because there's thirty year old Reems out there still them. running. <laughs> They're all coffins and stuff. Oh man. And then to pull this thing completely out. Unplug. They did give you mo the Molex plugs, yep. Unplug these. But it's unhooking the water and then rehooking it all back up Drop just to check water, the pressure. And then you can take the whole plug and take it. I guess Climate Master thought we would enjoy these yeah. units. And right here is the first sensor, mm -hmm. the yellow wire to here. And then there's the secondary sensor. Here. Oh, there is one for the secondary. Yeah, right there. Yeah, and you see how this is? This just drips down through the hole into the bottom and then it pan, in the and then the wall, and then the drain is on the bottom. So if the main drain plugs up, you have to pull this out to blow it out. But I heard that those aren't even clamped on here, so yeah. you have the danger of blowing off the hose underneath. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And, so there's, there's two screws. condensate overflow wires in and this bucket. This gun. Uh, yeah. So the other thing we have to do is when you're test running it, you have the probes on in there. You got to stick this cover back on because air right there from the fan will, will, will pull from, will bypass the coil. So, so now my supplier is starting to actually drop in there. So our condensate water is 71 in and 85 out. 
It's actually loaded up a little bit more now that it's pulling yeah. air through the evaporator coil. Still You'll grab. And, and you know, this, is, this is where he was talking about. If you over tighten it, it'll actually pull the unit forward. Yeah. And then it'll pull the condensate drain out of its yeah. Yeah, path. Isn't this a bunch of bullshit? Ain't it? Get her done. Get one down there. Oh, go ahead. I was just recording <laughs> for my show and tell of these my pieces of shit. Yeah. Are you getting my good side? Yeah, I'm not getting it all in there. Oh, you getting my ugly you side? Anonymous. <laughs> so, what do you think of these so far? Uh, no comment. Oh, come on. No comment. No comment. What do you have to say about these? Oh, they're just it's the worst pieces of crap I've ever seen in 30 years. <laughs> oh, you're recording this. Yes. You dumbass. <laughs>